Hi, my name is Nicole Rea, and I'm going to talk about set chromosome autofusions in heliconium butterflies. Genomic structural variations are ubiquitous in nature. They have been found in plants, vertebrates, and invertebrates. So they seem to play an important role in the speciation and evolution of the genes. In particular, rare regimes such as fissions, fusions, and inversions are key mechanisms of genome reorganization that can suppress the combination of drive changes in chromosome number with possible consequences for reproductive isolation and adaptation. Fusions can occur between sex and autosome chromosomes, resulting in neocest chromosomes. These fusions have been suggested to promote divergence in fish, mammals, and moths. However, their importance in speciation have been documented and discussed more in organisms with monocentric chromosomes, such as many vertebrates, than in those with holocentric chromosomes, such as many insects. In the Lepidoptera order, these fusions are not as common, and fusions with the set and W chromosome has been a all right report. Although most of these neocest chromosomes have been found in moths, there are some examples in butterflies, such as in the genus Danaus. These fusions can affect linkage relationships and thus can play an important role in adaptation. For instance, the autosome fuse to the set chromosome interpreciate is enriched in genes involved in the detoxification of plant secondary metabolites. These fusions link it, the detoxification genes with the genes related to the female preference, which may have facilitated adaptation and speciation. These findings suggest that this type of fusion is very important in the evolution of this group of organisms. Therefore, the study of sex chromosome autosome fusions in Lepidoptera, and in particular in butterflies, could contribute to the knowledge of chromosomal speciation. Heliconius butterflies are in the neotropical region with 48 species distributed in seven main clades. Although most of the species of the genus have 21 chromosomes, some of the species of the Sapho clade uh, have a larger number of chromosomes. For instance, Heliconius congenite, Eleuchia, and Sapho have between 33 to 60 chromosomes. <clears throat> This clay also has interesting ecological and behavioral traits, including pupal mating, larval revarians, and some of the species of, uh, of this clay uh, lost the ability to synthesize cyanogen uh, compounds. Uh, these uh, genetic and ecological traits make the butterflies an interesting group to study the chromosomal rearrangements and their consequence on genome evolution. To investigate this, we assembled the Liconius area genome for the first time. Then we resequenced the complete genome of 114 individuals of the seven species of this clade. Next, we mapped uh, these individuals to the Liconius area reference, and uh, we called variants and genotypes. With the resulting BCF, we analyzed the population structure of this clade by running a PCA of the whole genome. Then we run a maximum likelihood pre XML of the whole genome and by chromosome. And on chromosomes where we found topological discordance, we run local PCAs to establish the population structure along the genome. Next, we perform a, a shaded and separate analysis with admission and calculate the presence of integration between species by running this series. After that, uh, we calculate the genetic differentiation between species and subspecies by calculating DSY and FST by genome one to windows. And finally, we calculate heterozygosity and sequencing the per chromosome, per individual, and per species. And these same measures were calculated by windows on each chromosome and species. Uh, the first result we obtained is a well-reported phylogeny that recovered two main clades, the Sarah uh, clade and the South clade. 
in the saraclate, the species Heliconius leucadia and Heliconius saga are found. Uh, in the sapoclate, uh, we found uh, the Heliconius antiochus, Sapho, Eguizoni, Conjunet, and Eleuchia species. We found topological discordance only within the sapoclate and mainly in the chromosome uh, 4, 9, and 14. For chromosome uh, 4, we found a sex uh, clustering within the pi species of this plane. And also um, on chromosome 9, within the species Heliconius, Hewitsoni, and Sappho. And the same occurring chromosome 14, but only in the species Heliconius, Eleuchia, and Conjure. Uh, this uh, clustering uh, suggest the existence of spe specific haplotypes, uh, a new pattern for Heliconius. To investigate whether this pattern holds true along the chromosomes, we run a local PCA uh, in these chromosomes. Here, we can see the result of the local PCA for chromosome 4 and for the leukia and congenital species. We first identify two main clusters of windows in the MDS analysis. Then we did a PCA uh, for each group of windows. And we found that in the black windows, the individuals are grouped by sex. And in the gray windows, the individuals are grouped by species. Mm, we also see that the windows that group by, by sex mm, do not constitute a single block in a specific position of the chromosome, but are distributed through, uh, throughout the genome. A similar results are found for the local PCA of chromosome 4 to, uh, for the other species and for chromosome 9 and 14. As a consequence of this haplotype structure, uh, we, uh, the FST between species and subspecies dropped sharply in chromosome 4 in all comparisons. And in chromosome 14, when we compare subspecies all Heliconius eleuchia, or, or when uh, we compare Heliconius eleuchia versus Heliconius congenital. And in chromosome 9, uh, when we compare subspecies of Heliconius sapho, or when we compare Heliconius sapho versus Heliconius hewitsoni. The heterozygosity and sequenced uh, the analysis also showed different results between males and females on these chromosomes. In panel A, you can see the heterozygosity and sequencing depth per chromosomes, per, and per individual for Heliconius eleuchia. Females are shown in red and males are in blue. We can see the high heterozygosity values restricted to females as well as an intermediate values in sequence depth on chromosome 4 and 14. Uh, this result suggests that on these chromosomes, there is a fusion between these autosomal uh, chromosomes and one of the sex chromosomes. Uh, in panel B, uh, you can see the heterozygosity and sequence depth by sliding windows along the chromosome 4. And we found that females have twice the heterozygosity compared to males in most of the windows of the chromosome. Only in the yellow regions, females had lower heterozygosity and depth than males. These are areas are probably regions where fusions did not occur or did not map against to the Heliconisara uh, reference. Similar results are found for the heterozygosity and sequencing depth uh, of chromosome 4, 9, and 14 in other species. Finally, we found uh, evidence of interactions between all species and the Heliconius subspecies and between Heliconius antiochus and the ancestral branch of the Heliconius congener and Eleuchia. <clears throat> In conclusions, we detected at least three test chromosome uh, autosome fusions in the Sada The excess 
uh, the sex uh, chromosome for fusions occur in all species. So this suggests either occur in the ancestor of this clade or occur independently in each species. And we cannot determine uh, with, with our data whether the fusion is with the set of the W chromosomes, but uh, our data fit two hypotheses. In the first lot, the fusion is with the W chromosome and is the first present only in females. In the second hypothesis, the fusion is with the set chromosome and will be present in, in both females and males. However, a high C or the logo assemblies are required to determine, uh, to determine this. Now uh, we are generating the logo assemblies of all species and we think uh, further studies are needed to test whether these chromosomal rearrangements have an effect on reproductive isolation, adaptation and speciation in these butterflies. Uh, thanks for listening to me and thanks for, uh, to all my collaborators. If you have questions or suggestions, you can write it uh, on Twitter. Thank you very much.